students, for some time now, we have been looking at elasticity. We have looked at the part one and the part two of elasticity. Today, we are looking at part three of elasticity. And uh, our lesson objectives, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to, one, the first one, explain more on the graph of load against extension. Then the second one, students should be able to solve more problems on elasticity using Hooke's formula. So, for the first uh, part, which is the first objective, explain more on the graph of load against extension. Last class, I drew a graph for you. Last class, you still remember? I drew a graph of uh, load against extension for you. Load, then the extension. And I told you that from this point to this point, you have what we call the proportionality limit. Then, going again, you have uh, you have the elastic limit. Then again, I told you you have the yield point. Then you have the what? The breaking point. So, from this point to this point to this point B, from zero to point B, you discover that we call this point proportionality limit. And what does it mean? It means that the elasticity holds. The Hooke's law goes from here to this point. And what is Hooke's law? As the extension is increasing, the force applied also is increasing. So that is Hooke's law from F equals to Ke. So Hooke's law goes from this point to this point. Then Y elasticity goes from this point to this point. And what is elasticity? I told you last class, elasticity means the ability of a substance to regain its original shape and size after being deformed, after the force has been removed. So, and that is what elasticity is all about. Then this place, I call it yield point. Now, beyond this point, this elastic limit, you, you, you recall that in Hooke's law statement, we said provided the elastic limit is not exceeded. So, the yield point now, beyond this point, then you have a plastic region. Why the material becomes plastic from being elastic to plastic? So, then the second objective now, Students should be able to solve more questions on this using Hooke's formula. Now, look at this question. We want to solve these questions together. Now, I want to pay attention. A spring 20 centimeter long. A spring 20 centimeter long. We can just draw it. Let's say the, the length of this is 20 centimeter. Then it stretched to 25 centimeter. It is straight. Of course, if it is straight, then it is longer than this. So the point from year to year will still be the same, of course. You know this is 20, then 25. That means this place will be 5 centimeters. Then by a load of 15 newton, that's when you apply a load of 15 newton to it. What will be the length when stretched by 100 newton? So if you stretch the same string by 100 newton, of course you know it will be longer than this. So 100 newton, what will be? the length of this uh, material. So how do we do that? You have to follow Hooke's law. Now, the first for the first one, F1 is equal to 15 Newton. That's for this. Then the extension, which is, I will call it E1, is 5 centimeter. So then F2 is equal to 100 Newton. And E2, which is the second extension, we don't know it. So just use the Hooke's law, F1 over E1 is equal to F2 over E2. So which means 50 over E1, which is 5, is equal to F2, which is 100 over E2. Then by the time you cross multiply, you have 50 E2 is equal to 500. <clears throat> then E2 will be equal to 10 centimeter. So if the second extension is 10 centimeter, then you know from this point to this point should be the same with this, which is 20 centimeter. So the extension now from here to here is 10 centimeter. Then we can also say that the length, the length will be 20 plus 10. That is this 20 plus the extension, which is 30 centimeter. So let's look at this last one. 
Let's look at this last one. They have to express the young modulus as in the relationship between F, E, and E and H. Don't forget the stress is force over area. And our force is given as L. Our area is given as capital A. Then the strain is extension over length, original length, which is E over H. Then, of course, you know, the modulo, which is the last thing there, is stretch over strain. That's F over H divided by E over H, which is F over H times L over H. F L over H. This is the end of the class for now. When we get to Google Classroom, you see more of this, and you can ask many questions. Thank you.